بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ ہاؤ وی کین ڈی واٹر سلرچ ایز وی ڈسکس ان آر پریویس لیسنس ایز ویل دے آر ڈفرینٹ اسٹیپس ٹو ٹریٹ دا سلرچ بفور وی کین ڈسپوز اٹ آف ون آف دوز ویری امپورٹنٹ اسٹیپس آر ڈی واٹرنگ آف دا سلرج ناؤ دے آر ایٹ لیسٹ سم میجر آبجیکٹس وچ مسٹ بی اچیوڈ وین وی وانٹ ٹو ڈی واٹر سلرچ فار ایگزامپل ریڈکشن آف ٹرانسپورٹیشن کوسٹ اف وی ڈی واٹر سلرج وی ووڈ لائک کہ ہم اس حد تک اس کو ڈی واٹر کریں کہ وہ اس کی ہینڈلنگ ایزی ہو جائے اور دے فور اس کو ٹرانسپورٹ کرنا آسان ہو جائے اور اس میں کوسٹ ایفیشنسی آئے امپروومنٹ آف دا ہینڈلنگ کنڈیشنس اگین اف دا واٹر کنٹینٹ از لو وی کین ایزلی ہینڈل دا سلرج بیکاز اٹ ول بی مور سالڈ دین لیکوڈ انکریز آف دا کیلرک ویلی آف دا سلرج اسپیشلی فار بیسیکلی انسنریشن اگر ہم انسنریٹ کرنا چاہ رہے ہیں سلرج کو تو ہم اس میں کتنی انرجی انپٹ کریں گے کہ وہ انسنریٹ ہو جائے دیٹ ڈپینڈس آن دا واٹر کوانٹیٹی پریزنٹ ان دا سلرج سو دیٹ از آلسو وی وڈ لائک ٹو ڈی واٹر دا سلرج ریڈکشن ان دا والیوم آف فور ڈسپوزل Obviously, if we remove the water content of the sludge, the volume of the sludge will be reduced, so it can be easily disposed of. Reduction in the production of leachate when the sludge is disposed of in landfills. We have discussed earlier that the sludge can be disposed of and disposed of in different applications. One of those uh, is landfills. So, if you want to dispose of a sludge uh, on land, landfills, so uh, If the sludge contains uh, so much water, it will require a large area of the land to perform this uh, uh, activity. However, if we have removed uh, the major content of the water from the sludge, the sludge volume is reduced. So it will be easy to uh, apply this strategy of landfill uh, to dispose of the sludge. Now, sludge dewatering can be done by natural processes or by mechanized processes. And natural processes, as the name indicates, operate naturally. Zyada tar isme evaporation ka process hoga ya percolation ka. Evaporation means that we uh, try to evaporate the water content present in the sludge, and percolation means that we try to filter uh, the water content present in the sludge, and then we take out the water content and remove it. However, uh, as the, as you can see here, natural processes would require more time. Uh, moreover. Uh, though they are simple and uh, cheaper to operate they will require a much larger area to operate you can see that uh, uh, if the water content of a sludge is high and we want to evaporate the water we would need a much larger area uh, to spread the sludge and we would like to give more time so that much more water can be evaporated in contrast to natural processes the mechanized processes are based on mechanisms such as filtration compaction or centrifugation and this basically accelerates dewatering natural processes bhi dewatering kar rahe hain lekin ye jo mechanized processes hain ye jo ke mechanized hain uh, special aims hain inke so uh, these operate at much faster rate these result in compact and sophisticated units from uh, an operational and maintenance point of view so you can see here a special units are required to operate these strategies now natural uh, processes used to dewater sludge could be drying beds and sludge lagoons uh, both are used but uh, drying beds are mostly used and the mechanized sludge dewatering processes can use centrifuges vacuum filters bed presses and filter presses now this table shows typical dry solid levels present in the uh, dewater sludges out of uh, different treatment systems for example you can see here that this is primary treatment conventional and uh, the dewatering process utilized for the sludge produced from this treatment is drying bed filter press centrifuge and belt press and once it has been dewatered uh, these are the dry solids percentages present in these sludge after passing through these strategies of dewatering and then we have uh, other treatment systems as well for example you can see here uh, the factory pond and the pond and all such things basically utilize drying bed you can see over here moving on to next systems uh, conventional sludge activity sludge high rate trickling filter and submerge aerated biofilter the almost all of those can utilize almost all of these four strategies of dewatering uh, process and these are the dry solid levels that are achieved after dewatering moving on to usb reactors you can see here again these can be the sludge produced out of these reactors can be dewatered by all these four processes and these are the dry solid levels achieved after dewatering Now if you want to increase the dewatering efficiency of uh, uh, a system we can always condition the sludge before moving on to dewatering process itself 
mostly chemicals are used uh, or heat can also be used chemicals mostly used are basically coagulants the main coagulants used are basically metallic ions or polyacrylates basically polymers the most common metallic coagulants used are aluminum sulfate ferric chloride ferrous sulfate ferric sulfate quick lime or hydride lime all these uh, uh, serve as coagulant and uh, once uh, those are used in the sludge followed by dewatering uh, we can achieve high efficiency of dewatering this was about sludge dewatering i will see you in next lesson